Okay, so let's jump into the second one. Solve for x. Same thing. My instructions say now that I'm solving for x. So just so I, my brain doesn't get confused, I'm going to put that there. I'm solving for that term. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add 2y to both sides. And when I do that, I'm left with 4x equals, that's a zero pair, 2y plus 16. Remember, I can't add these. These are two different terms. This is a constant, and this is an unknown number multiplied with 2. So they can't be added, and I can't get 18y. What I get is this, 2y plus 16. And again, I apologize for my ink. It looks pretty terrible. Now, I'm almost done. I'm solving for x. So I'm multiplying x by 4. So I undo multiplication by dividing each term, and that's important. Remember, divide each term by 4. You have to do it this way because it'll save you a lot of time and mistakes. Uh, this becomes a giant 1. I'm left with x equals, now 2 divided by 4, well, that doesn't equal 2. 4 divided into 2, which is 2 fourths, which would be half. So I'm going to put 1 half times y, 16 to positive 16, I almost forgot the sign, positive 16 divided by positive 4, that's a plus 4. And so now my answer is x equals 1 half times y plus 4. Now, if you look at these, they look completely different, and that's okay, because the, the clue to this game is identify what you need to solve for using the algebraic method, use your appropriate strategies and legal moves, and you will end up with another equation, most of the time, where your variable that you're solving for is isolated, okay? This is my answer. I'm done. I don't need to figure out what these values are. I'm not being asked to do that. I'm just asked to manipulate the equation. Remember that. I'm just being asked to manipulate the equation. Okay? Change its appearance. So, let's do one more, just so you can understand how it applies to even uh, other fields. Uh, D is distance is equal to the rate of change times time. Okay? And the instructions is, well, take this formula, and I want to solve for T, for time. So, the, I notice that T times the rate of change, they're multiplying. I'm going to undo that multiplication and divide both sides by r. My final answer is the distance divided by the rate of change is equal to time. Now, why is this important? Well, because they might give us a story where they give us how far you went, how fast you were going, and we want to figure out how long it took you to cover that distance. Okay. So then if you're only given this, inf this formula and only these pieces of information, we could start by manipulating our formula so it could look like this. And now this is telling you, hey, go ahead and solve for time. Just type, replace your distance and your rate of change with actual values, okay? And again, the focus is, is just manipulating this equation. Last one, force equals mass times acceleration, and we're being asked to solve for mass. Again, uh, stories where they give us certain information and we have to figure out other information that's missing, we have a little trick where we can rewrite the C formula so that it, it's set up so we can just plug in the information given. So solve for m, since I'm multiplying mass times acceleration, I divide both sides by m, and I'm left with, and I'm going to sort of rewrite this as a is equal to, acceleration is equal to force divided by mass. What this means is simply, if I'm asked to find acceleration, and I'm given force and mass, I just take the quotient of it, and that'll automatically give me my answer. So we first take the formula here, manipulate it so it's set up for what we want to solve for, and then that's it. Now, notice that I put solve for m, and I solve for a. So, let's redo this again. And the cool thing about this mistake is this. You're going to notice that it really doesn't change. Solve for m, that means I divide both sides by acceleration. Um, then I'm left with force divided by acceleration is equal to mass. Notice that it's almost similar, except the difference is we're solving for m now. In the previous one, we solved for a. And that is the bulk of the work that you'll be doing with your ex, uh, practice sheet. Uh, that is in the last section. All right. Thank you.